Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's video, we are going to go over all of the plans and preparations that I've made in anticipation probably for the biggest week in GPU mining history. If you like the GPU content, please like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of shilling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you're unsure as to why next week is going to be the biggest week in GPU mining history, let me quickly catch you up. Next week, the biggest GPU mineable coin and the most profitable GPU mineable coin for the last however many years or since at least I started mining back in 2017 is Ethereum and they are moving away from proof of work to proof of stake. That means you will no longer be able to mine Ethereum anymore. And Ethereum from a revenue standpoint accounts to a lot of revenue that miners generate uh, from GPU mining. So naturally, when they move away uh, from proof of work to proof of stake, that will impact GPU mining massively. Now, exactly when this is going to happen depends because the Ethereum Foundation has marked a specific block height. That means it will hit or proof of stake will start or the transition at least to proof of stake will start as soon as that specific block height is reached but you know block times do vary so um, you know depending on the network hash rate and difficulty and a whole bunch of other things that might differ so what we are looking at probably is around the 15th of september but it could be anything from potentially the 13th to the 20th of september but at least in my head what i've been preparing for is the 15th of september now that we know what the Ethereum merge is and more or less when and the absolutely massive impact it's going to have on GPU mining, you're probably wondering why the hell do I have a smile on my face? And that is because I'm super excited for the Ethereum merge. Not necessarily to lose my uh, revenue overnight, but it's a massive historic event and we haven't seen something like this ever before. Yes, there has been some coins that's moved over from proof of work to proof of stake or changed algorithms or gone through halvings but at least in my opinion uh, and my biased opinion uh, you know this is really going to be massive for GPU mining and it's going to make it fun again uh, you know nobody knows exactly what's going to happen on the 15th of September everybody knows the impact is going to be massive because you can do all sorts of calculations around um, you know hash rates that's going to move where are they going to move the amount of issuers of coins and what the the proposed new revenue is and are we going to see price appreciations all of these things are up in the air everybody has got an opinion including me um, but you know nobody really knows and this sort of at least in my opinion feels like back when i started mining uh, in 2017 where there was a bunch of coins i knew nothing uh, it was exciting for me every day because i got to read some white papers on all of these different coins that I mined. Um, so, you know, it feels like mining is going to be exciting again. And uh, again, in my opinion, this is really where the bear market for GPU mining kicks in. Yes, we have been in a bear market for a long time, but, you know, it feels a little bit weird for me because it actually has been profitable still. Even though we are in the middle of a bear market in cryptocurrency, you know, I've been profitable mining. All of my coins all of my gpus in a country which doesn't necessarily have the cheapest electric rate out there so you know it hasn't felt like the bear market kicked in fully and you know i if it is not going to kick in next week um, you know then i don't know when it's going to kick in but um, you know at least in my opinion i do think that the bear market is going to start next week for gpu miners no matter where you are and what your power rate is there will be a massive impact but it will be for the better now besides the unknown the other stuff that i'm really excited for for next week is to see the next ethereum being born um, and you know when i say next ethereum you know i don't i really don't hope it will be like ethereum where everybody just mines one thing and it's just one coin that um, you know rules the roost uh, hopefully there's a couple of different coins that hopefully has different use cases solves different problems that gpu miners can actually mine and provide security to their network so uh, i'm really excited to see that journey and see you know which coins hopefully makes it out the other side now i do have some bets uh, around you know which projects or which coins do i think is going to make it and that's sort of also what today's video is about 
Now, what is the GPU mineable coins that at least I will be supporting and that I hope makes it through the bear market? The number one coin would be Flux. And if you haven't watched some of my previous content, I would highly encourage you to do so. But, you know, I've been mining Flux for a long time or since I've come back into mining. Um, and the reasoning behind that idea was, at least at the time, is, you know, I knew Ethereum was going to move to proof of stake at least at some point. Didn't know really when. Uh, so I've been front running Flux and by front running I mean I've been mining it when it wasn't necessarily the most profitable coin uh, for a long time in anticipation of exactly this week where potentially a lot of people would jump onto Flux which would mean the yield of Flux and yield is basically the amount of coins or rewards that you would get would drop drastically. So I wanted to get as much as I could before um, you know everybody else jumps onto the bandwagon so you know i've built up a nice little flux bag and i'm going to continue mining flux or at least that's the idea um, for the foreseeable future so i do have a split between amd and um, you know nvidia gpus and my split is about 60 40 so i've got about 60 percent of my gpus are nvidia ones and about 40 percent is on amd at least for now going into next week the idea is that all my nvidia cards is going to be on flux now what i'm going to do with my amd gpus has been the big question mark for me personally you know i don't really know where to put my amd gpus these are all 6000 series GPUs, so I don't have any 580s or any Polaris GPUs, nor any Vega GPUs. So these are all 6000 series GPUs. So they've been actually great on Ethereum, but where else to pivot them has been a bit of a question mark for me. So, you know, looking at the coins, obviously they could be mining Flux, they could be doing Raven, Coin, Neoxa, and even Casper. So those are sort of the options. And what I've been testing for the last couple of days is my AMD GPUs, which is these ones, specifically on Ergo. So I'm happy to report, and hopefully you can learn out of this, they are not necessarily the best on Ergo. Um, you know, I do think the uh, 30 series cards is a little bit better on Ergo, at least that's what my testing says. But, um, you know, at least I'll show you guys what overclocks do I have for my various different AMD GPUs, specifically on ergo but i might be pivoting to something else why am i specifically on ergo on amd number one i needed to test it i needed to find out what is the best miner and that's the other thing that i think a lot of people uh, potentially are missing we are already seeing some mining software changes specifically from lol miner they've now recently um, you know, increase the efficiency on AMD GPUs, specifically on Flux. And I'm expecting to see a lot of that um, over the next couple of months where, you know, Ethereum is gone. Uh, most of these miners probably has spent most of their time improving efficiencies on Ethereum, which won't be there anymore, right? So they, again, are incentivized through, um, you know, their software and the fees that they charge through the software to make sure that you use their actual software. So I do think a lot of these minor software is going to have considerable changes to improve efficiencies on various different GPUs um, across various different coins. And, uh, you know, it's not rocket science to see sort of uh, how this will play out, right? Um, you know, these software providers or developers will have a look at what is the most popular GPUs and the most popular coins and focus their attention there. So I do expect these AMD GPUs to get um, better on various different coins over the next couple of months as the mining software developers improve efficiency on um, these various different coins and their incentives is going to change drastically as well. Um, and you're probably seeing the same thing with mining pools um, and even exchanges, right? So uh, a lot of the exchanges, and that's been a gripe for, for miners, um, you know, in general, you know, some of these mining coins that I've mentioned earlier, the Ravens, the Neoxas, the Flux, the Ergos out there, they are not easy 
to swap out for uh, for fiat for that matter right um, because you know why has the exchanges worried because you know most people just mine ethereum right so uh, i do think the exchanges will adopt some of these mineable coins hopefully in the future again yeah, it might take a little bit of time but soon these exchanges and mining pools realize that oh hell uh, ethereum is gone uh, and i still want to capture a little bit of revenue so they will slowly start adding some of you know these coins so liquidation will become easier now the other question that i see a lot is you know are you buying gpus in this specific bear market and the short version for it is definitely yes i'm a big fan of the second hand market and if you follow me on twitter or you watch any of my other videos um, you know i regularly buy second hand gpus i think in my whole farm i've only bought probably three new gpus that i got sucked into the hype and buying and i absolutely regret that uh, and i'm hoping not to make the same mistake in the next bull run and i do think there will be a next bull run when not exactly sure I do have some opinions of when I think it is, but um, at least, you know, to come back to the topic, yes, I am still buying secondhand GPUs. Actually, I picked up this uh, Sapphire Pulse. So this GPU here, um, let's turn it around. It's actually, the back plate looks beautiful. This is a 6700, yeah, it's a 6700 XT. So yes, I'm still buying secondhand GPUs. I've got some bear market goals and maybe I'll do a separate video on my bear market goals. But, um, you know, the short version is I'd like to double my farm over the bear market. Yes, I know it won't be necessarily profitable. So I might be buying GPUs that I won't even mine with for a couple of months. And I am completely okay with that. Um, but yes, I am slowly picking up GPUs. I've got at least in my head or on my piece of paper, I've got a set price and specific GPUs that I am targeting. So I'm not just buying GPUs for buying GPUs. Um, there's specific ones that I want to target. And again, those are dependent on at least the coins that I'm expected to mine over the bear market, or at least where I'm hedging my bet. So obviously I'm not putting all my chips on one GPU or one coin. Um, you know, I do think, or at least that is some of the changes that I'm making between, um, you know, the last bear market and what i'm doing now is you know i at least want to build a little bag on a couple of coins so that's why you know when i'm mining over the next couple of weeks or months or leading up i won't be focusing just on one coin so you know you won't be seeing me doing just ethereum um, you know so i will be mining at least a combination of flux ergo and at least what I'm hoping to mine is Casper. So, you know, those are the three things that um, I'm hoping to mine. So not just one thing, but, you know, I will pivot between those type of coins. And I'm looking for secondhand GPUs that are potentially the most efficient and cost efficient on those specific algorithms. So that's sort of where um, I'm targeting my secondhand GPU purchases. So, you know, this GPU, I'm going to quickly slot into the specific octa miner so this is a x8 ultra and then let's jump onto the computer and i'll show you guys sort of uh you know what are the hash rates that you can expect from a 6700 xd on ergo okay so i've opened up the octa miner and here you can see sort of what it looks like with all of my amd gpus so this amd gpus is basically a bunch of 6700 xts and some 6800 xts there's only one 6800 non-xt in here the rest are all 6800 xts together with the 6700 so that's sort of where i slotted in the sapphire card so i've got one spot left so hopefully i find another good deal on the second hand market to actually go ahead and fill that spot but enough of these gpus and me talking let's jump on the computer and i'll show you guys actually the hash rates that i'm getting from these cards on ergo and then some of the overclocks that i'm using in hive os okay so here we are on the computer so i've opened up hive os and here you can see i've got my optimizer amd rig and here's all my amd gpu so you can see three 6700 xts and four 6800 xts so the, obviously there's just a one non xt so you can see it at the bottom so what you can expect or at least the best that i could get so far is on the 6700 xts here you can see across the board i get about 91 uh, mega hashes and at about 64 watts now on the 6800 xts 
I get about 120 mega hashes. Similar to Ethereum, by the way, the 6800 sort of matches the 6800 XT. So there is not really a memory difference um, or memory performance difference between the 6800 XT and the 6800. There is a difference, make no mistake, in some of the other algorithms. So as soon as you start hitting a core, um, there is definitely a core difference. So, you know, from a solutions per second, perspective so if you were mining flux there's definitely a difference between 6800 and 6800 xd and i would imagine the same thing goes for a raven coin or neoxa for that matter so this is sort of the best mega hashes that i sort of can get just looking at the overclocks for the 6700 xd because they are a little bit different so let me just open up any one of them uh so on them, I've got my core clock at 1125, voltage 660, memory controller voltage at 645, the clock just below the, the max 1075, which is 1073 here, the memory voltage at 1230. And then what's important to bring the voltages down is the SOC frequency here is 980 and the SOC VDC, uh, VDD max is 830. So that brings the wattage down quite considerably it wants to do about 90 watts if you specifically use your ethereum overclocks but as soon as you dial that back in it will come down now the other thing that i noticed here for mining ergo for the last day or so is i see exactly this where um, the hash rate drops about 20 across the board or about 10 across the board but then quickly goes back up Looking at the miner, so if I just jump into the hype shell here, you can see here I'm still getting my 90 220 um, mega hashes on Ergo. Now, something that I'm actually trying out is, um, you know, what pool am I using? So I'm actually using Zelcor. So now since Ergo is added to Zelcor, I like to keep my stuff sort of, um, let's call it centralized. Uh, even though I don't really necessarily believe in that, but I like to keep my wallets in sort of one place, or at least my mining wallets in one place, so that I don't have 16 different desktop wallets um, that I all need to remember all the seed phrases and stuff like that. So um, that's sort of what I'm using, um, Zelcor, and the pool that I'm mining to is the Get Block pool. So I'm specifically trying one of their smart pools. And again, why am I trying this? I wanted to make sure that these tokens, so some of the smart pools um, for Ergo, you actually gain, you know, your normal Ergo that you mine, and then they provide you on top another token. So specifically the smart pool that I'm using at the moment is the Ergo Pad smart pool. So I'm expected to get, um, you know, my normal Ergo that I mine, and then on top of that, um, you know, Ergo Pad tokens so i wanted to check out if this integration is actually working with zelcor so um that this ergo pad is actually going to be received into my mining wallet inside zelcor so this is the sort of test that i'm running at the moment just to make sure that, that stuff is working and hopefully it will help the community unfortunately well i've been trying to to get i've set the payout to um one erg so i'm very close to receiving that uh, payout so hopefully i'll keep you guys up to date it um you know in case it doesn't work <laughs> you know if it doesn't work i'll tweet about it or hopefully ask the the flux and get block guys to um to see if they can fix it but that's sort of the plan um is to try some of the new fun stuff that i see in ergo that's it for this video guys if you've liked the video please like it and maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't like it please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers